Alright guys, so for today's video we're going to be talking here about carrots. Uh, carrots are a wonderful nutritional supplement for your bearded dragon. They're going to be high in beta carotene as well as many other nutritional values. Um, just to give you an idea, take a look down in the description there and there'll be all sorts of nutritional stats across the board. But the main factor here is going to be beta carotene. It's good for the humans, good for your eyes. Um, also good for bearded dragons though. And it uh, it's even even been known to help brighten up the coloration in some of the red and orange dragons out there. So it's definitely something to take a look at uh, and worth adding to your to your little arsenal of salad greens and vegetables for your bearded dragon mixes. Um, really, there's not too much more to it. It is a pain to try and take care of the, the carrot for your dragon there. Uh, as you can see, cutting it is incredibly difficult on a small scale because really even these for a baby dragon would be pretty hard to to handle it is an incredibly thick plant so there's a few tricks I'll go over here for you let me get some of this other mess out of the way for you sorry about that but um some of the tricks include you can actually create you, you can do it a couple ways you can do hot water uh, some people say boil first and then toss the carrots in and let them kind of get real soft and then cut them, almost like a baby stewed carrot or something. Uh, or you can go with just warm water and kind of soften them up a little bit. What I'll do is I just take them as is, and especially since I'll end up putting them back in and freezing them. And what I'll do is I'll take a cheese grater. I just this cheese grater seen this better day, so I apologize. I have a better one on the way, but uh, in the meantime, that's what I do. And I go along the grain here, kind of just keep going, keep going. And it, it, I find that, you know, something on a medium grade here is going to create these soft, and they're soft, which is much better, and they're strands, uh, kind of stringy. And again, you see even that many, many times down. You can get get yourself a better grade. And like I said, this is one that I just had laying around. I used to use a long time ago. I don't know uh, where my good one is, but this will work for this demonstration, especially since it's much smaller than the other one. But as you see here, I just go across the grain. You can rotate it around, just be careful, these are sharp, even this older one can take your skin off, no problem. Uh, you know, just be careful, keep going at it, and the longer you go this way against the grain, the longer the strands are going to be, so just cut against the grain here, that will be nice and easy, and if you're really concerned about it, you can go back and even, uh, then, then go back and chop this up, you see how much easier it is to cut, because this is such a softer strand. And that's amazing for your dragons. This is going to be real easy. They're going to love the color. I find that uh, along with um, Radicchio here, this nice red, this gives the dragons nice interest in your in your salad mix. Uh, definitely something to toss in there. And um, I typically do this similar to how I do my kale, about once a month. So maybe when kale isn't in the mix, I'll toss this in. Uh, for a week, among various other things, but uh, you know, really, like I said, it, it's not over the top in anything. It's not going to hurt your dragon. There shouldn't be any toxicity issues. Carrots are a great addition. You could do this. Um, like I said, I break I break my my system down here into weeks, and I count you know roughly four weeks to every month. I know sometimes it's more. Obviously, I understand that, but roughly four weeks every month. And what we'll do here is four different feeding cycles. Uh, you get your bases like romaine and then you got something that's an additive like this you can do this every two out of every four weeks in the cycle so every other week essentially or you can go once out of the month and try and keep it in about a monthly cycle that's also fine um, like I said it's a great supplement it's not like it's gonna be horrible for them not to have it but it's definitely something worth looking into and uh, looking into and definitely using it as a regular basis for your dragons here so that's about it for carrots today. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to ask away both in our comments and on the website. And if you liked our video, be sure to check out the rest of them. For all sorts of other great uh, dragon salad nutritional information here, as well as many other co topics of discussion. All right? Check out the website www.beardedragonsource.com, and you have yourself a wonderful day. See you next time.